Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Sierra Designs Flashlight One Single Person Tent. It's from Sierra Designs. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. Alright, so here it is right here. Flashlight One Single Person Tent. It does have this really unique um, kind of a stuff sack setup where it has the poles and the, and the stakes kind of separated, kind of unique. So I'm going to separate that. So there's your main stuff sack. Here's your poles and stakes. So I'm going to get the poles and stakes out first. Then we're going to set it up and I'm going to show you why this thing is cool and why you should potentially want to buy one. All right, stakes. So stakes are pretty they're coated, which are really nice, and uh, very nice, sharp, very hexagonal kind of a shape to them, but they're, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the light, but they're shiny. Let's see how many it comes with. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten stakes. So it comes with ten really nice stakes. And a super easy way to keep them all in a safe place so you don't lose them. Velcro enclosure here. So that's gonna keep them all nice and nice and neat and organized. There's the there's the poles right here. So you have a regular pole, which is real small. Okay, so I'll set that off. You have these other poles, which these are DAC press fit. You can see that DAC press fit poles, and the color coordinated. So you have green, right? And you have these uh, nice little hubs on there. Set that off. And then you have another pole, just like the first one. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to set this tent up. There, Sierra Designs flashlight one. First of all, I'm going to show you how easy it sets up. Secondly, I'll show you the benefits and the features that you would get from hiking and backpacking with a, you know, a solo tent like this. And then just kind of give it an overall look. I'm going to get my stakes so I can stake out the corners. All right, so you start with the green one. And the green one has these little grommets that kind of fit in here fit over here as well. This is kind of just bend those in place. These little guys clip in here and here. I'll move my camera around just so you can see. That sets that side up. On the inside here, you basically, that little guy goes at the bottom. There's a little pocket for this side. I'll show you what I mean. So in here, there's a little pocket kind of just slide your pole in there just like that and this little guy bends up and goes into this little grommet just like that and then the same on the other side that's set up and this is where the other stakes are going to come into play so get your vestibule you stake that out this way Just like that. But your other guy line here. On the other side, it has a buckle right here that buckles to the inside. Once you have that dialed in, you kind of just secure this, make that nice and tight, and then you have this whole section over here, and I'll get my camera over just so you can kind of see it. So that's the basic design of the flashlight one. Single person, rainfly and tent are one. There's no separate rainfly. Bottom side here, the foot. These are those little clips that I was talking to you about. 
So the fly comes up and clips onto those poles right there, onto those little hubs. The middle pole is supported. So I'm going to get in it and we're going to see interior space. So I'm six foot, about 170 pounds, and I've got plenty of room inside here to put my hands up, wiggle my feet if I need to, elbows are out right now, basically barely just touching the edge of the tent, plenty of ventilation, and I can sit up in this tent, and I have a good, probably a good foot of headroom, you know, in here, so... For a single person tent, this would be all I need. You know, there's a nice little pocket in here. There is hoops on the inside of the of the tent body here for, you know, hanging. So if you want to put a line across the top ridge here, you could. But that's about it. Pretty minimalist design. The seams are all taped. I can close this if I want to. I could just open the vent just like that so I have full vent both sides and it's real real nice you know so I can close all this up if I want to I can close this side or if I just want to have a nice little window I can all in all this is a great single person tent plenty of room inside for me sleeping pad sleeping bag so I have a nice little section over here that I can put my boots or you know, if my pack was small enough, I could put it underneath the, uh, the little vestibule out here. For the most part, you know, this is a pretty rock-solid shelter. Full open door. So the door opens wide, and, you know, I can make getting in and out a whole lot easier so if I need to get out put my boots on or whatever in the morning or even if I'm cooking breakfast right here outside of my tent there's plenty of room so I'll just take that buckle off and then I have full access in here to house all my stuff if I need to you know I could put this buckle back in place it's a little difficult holding the camera so that keeps it all nice and tidy over here So this whole triangular section right here is where you would put your boots or your pack. You also have many additional guy lines up top here on the front side here to really pull this thing out. Additional guy rope up here in case you need extra support if it's super windy. But you could just see the ventilation, tons of ventilation. Dak green poles, Sierra Designs, Sierra Designs branding, which I love. Another little separate window right here, a little triangular window. It'd be cool if this window had a zipper on it too, because then I could actually access stuff from in here instead of going through the main door, but not a big deal. Inside you have this one little mini pocket right there, hanging hoops at the top, and plenty of room at the foot. It's also ventilated at the foot. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Flashlight One from Sierra Designs. Here's Sierra Designs' website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some really nice, high-quality, you know, tents and sleeping bags and all kinds of stuff, and they've been doing so for a really long time. Definitely worth a look at. If you liked my review and found it informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself, make sure you click on that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you guys have any questions or comments about the Flashlight One from Sierra Designs, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. 
Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's a like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up for me if you found it informative, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're gonna stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. The best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, trailermountain.com. In the lower right-hand corner, there's gonna be a little pop-up where you can put in your email address, then click submit. When you do that, you're gonna have access to my website as well as some exclusive content that's only on my website that's not on my YouTube channel. So it's the best way to stay connected to all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on. So on the side note, we're also doing a charity thru-hike of the John Muir Trail this year, this August. Um, it's 222 miles. We're raising money for a great charity and great cause called Big City Mountaineers and the Summit for Someone program. You know, for those of you who don't know what Big City Mountaineers does, what they do is they take inner city youth kids and they take them out into the backcountry for a week at a time. And these kids are, you know, they're city kids, so a lot of these kids have never had a wilderness experience before. Some of these kids have no mom and dad, uh, no real positive role model in their lives. So, you know, a, a wilderness experience like this is life-changing for a lot of these kids. I mean, it was for me the first time I went out into the backcountry, so... Um, these guys make a huge difference in the world, and that's the reason why we chose Big City Mountaineers as our charity. So thank you again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. You know, without you, I can't live my dream and my passion and do these video reviews for you guys like I really love doing. So please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.